Welcome back to the channel folks, it's been way too long since I uh, last put anything else but it's been a really funny year. I'm back in Dunaini, I was here last evening and things didn't go to plan so I'm back this evening on a different part of the beach, uh, further down towards the Clark Head side, looking back out towards uh, the Moor Mountains. Beautiful, beautiful rock formations around here, gorgeous evening light, licking the stones here. And I'm looking for a composition that's kind of interesting. Great just to be out with the camera, so I've, this is more of a sketching exercise. I think this could really be have huge potential in the morning light. But for now, I'm gonna make the most of it. A bit of a blue sky day, but as that sun drops, hopefully we get some interesting colors in the sky. But right now, I'm gonna find some rocks that are interesting. Oh, that is actually quite nice. There you go. That's even better. Is that sharp? Is that sharp? Yeah, it'll loop. Just drop the uh, case ND grad in there. Just, just bring the shutter speed down to about two seconds. Just smooth that, that bit of movement that's in the water right now. I'll walk you through the composition that I have here. What I'm working with are these gorgeous lichen colored rocks. And I really like the shapes of them. They kind of mirror the mountains in the distance. So I'm going to work the composition here and see how I get on. Ideally, I'd love the tide to be in around these rocks a bit more. That ain't going to happen today. But this, is, this location has so much potential. Really glad I came here. This is this, just in the composition ever so slightly. There's a piece of rock in the foreground on the right hand side just sticking up, clipping the mid-ground rocks, and I don't like that. But I think this is stronger and the light is just absolutely beautiful right now. So I'm not sure if it's just me being over excited. Now, I haven't been out with the camera in a long time, but I, I actually really like this composition. I'd love a bit more interest in the sky, and hopefully, as the light levels drop, that might become a bit more interesting. But definitely going to 16 by 9 this. And I'm earmarking this location for a repeat visit. Absolutely beautiful. Some water going into the boots. Ah, some overtopping. Don't want that falling in. Let's get that set up. And just adjusting the composition slightly. We need to bring in a bit of the coolies down there. Oh my God, I'm so glad I came here. No, I don't like that. It's a bit dirty. So I came into the water here and a bunch of rocks that I spied earlier on while working some of the other compositions. They make a really, really interesting foreground and they've shaped the mirrors of the distant Moor Mountain. So I'm going to put an ND grad on here, bring that shutter speed down to about eight seconds. Let the water blur. That, that, that soft water will, will mirror the softness of that sky, which is absolutely magical now. Setup wise, 16 to 35 on at 35 mils. 10 seconds, F11, ISO 100. And we'll see where it goes. 
Oh, gorgeous. It does not get better than this. Oh, magical. So folks, we're going to take one more shot and then that's it. It's been a magical evening. Conditions are stunning. The photographs, we'll see how they are when you get back down to the big screen, but simply great to be out with the camera. You know, it's not all about the pictures, it's about the experience. And this evening has been energy for the soul. It can't beat this, it's stunning.